Okay, we're gonna be playing Hard Survivor. We finally got the feel right, come on, Little King. So, we're gonna be playing as the United Kingdom, because you guys voted for it on the poll. And yeah, let's go. Mm, not using any graphic mods. So, let's see around the world. And the Soviet Union, but it's owned by Lenin. Uzbekistan, Caspian government is that it's like it's it's a own thing. We got a bunch of satellite French stuff. Um, we then we got the United States, which owns Baja California. But today we're gonna be doing something at all. Playing as the United Kingdom. Just on our mode. They got rid of historical focuses. Understandable. Let's go. Save and play. I finally got it working. Sorry for the delay, guys. Um, if it wasn't for my modding experience, he he. Um, if this was mod, would not have been happening. Guys. I'm recording this in the morning. Welcome to Fjordike. So we got bonds. So we got, so let's see, so we got all our troops. Are they abroad? Okay, so, so let's do this. So we want him to bring hard troops. Let's go to game options audio we should. Good music. So it disabled a lot of DLCs for the main reason that we kinda mess around too much of the mods. So. Then finally, you guys are getting that division. Uh, so this is gonna screw our oil. Why a lot? I haven't turned off bad the guns. It just turned off the DLCs that, like you know, could, could cause air, such as the music ones. So yeah. Mm. Hope you enjoy this playthrough. And yeah, let's begin. So let's see what our focus is. So we got Royal Military Review, which is just. We have a huge focus screen this ball, by the way. We're gonna see it, but we're gonna go down. Uh, so we got the Imperial Development. I think we're gonna go with Royal Military Review. Now we have four research slots. Let's start researching the basic bits. So, construction. Mm, I don't. Um, rifles. Yeah. 
So this will be a no DLC playthrough, and yeah, hope you enjoy. I think I said that about twenty. We're gonna start our divisions later. Let's go to our stuff. What? Let's see. So audio. Let's straight up. This is just excessive amount. I sign it to sport equipment. Let's get it on. So and now let's sign it on. I don't know why it says my can modify government. I don't know what I can modify. Um, so yeah. I don't know what does it say that what I can modify. Like, I don't think I can modify anything. This would be one political power. Um, so, yeah. I don't know what they're talking about. And they, they are social concerns. So, well, let's begin. Wait, wait, pause. Okay, I just can go to Hanks. So, so let's build civilian pack. Let's build civilian factories everywhere because now let's begin. Speed up time. Okay. When there's victory in the Great War against the Central Powers, the British reformed his status as the global hem global hegemon through naval domination. However, the however the hundreds cost in the casualties impacted the internal politics of the empire more than could have been foreseen. In the Imperial Conference of 1917 to 19, 8, to, 8, to 18, Britain, Britain had, had promised their, her dominions that full recognition of autonomous nation at the, of an Imperial Commonwealth with the purpose of increased autonomy will give each dominion of the Empire adequate voice in foreign policy. Rights were eventually extended to British India as well. Despite these promises, victories with British come across, Charlotte's preferred to see the assumption of status quo of the empire to dominions normally subverted to London. They fear that the increase of autonomy may lead to a break up the empire and those in the Great War. They had fought and died to defend. The political crisis of the boom, the political crisis as the economic boom in Great Britain spread throughout the empire's manufactured expensive colonial empire, expense women, as the manufacturing levels in the empire soared, so did the need for resources with the expansive colonial empire. Britain was not short for needed goods, however, the method to increase goods was come to time with the price. Rapid industrialization and rapid industrialization 
and resource extraction led to mass employment of the colonial peoples in order to fuel the empire. Their connections were poor and their payment and their payment worse. Something that the British politicians were willing to to forget, and so as long as the money continued to flow. Eventually, these conditions are reason more and more of a crucible being achieved in India. Today, a rot spread as the Indian principles leaving the empire. The British garrison is a few, and those are the revolt, numerous. To make matters worse, the refusal of the House of Commons. The statue of Westminster in 1931, with instead of highly cut down version of bill being passed of the statute to of autonomy, all these dominion states have soured greatly. The coming up the period conference in 1937 should see a renew in terms of autonomy of the, of the dominion states of the empire, further rebellion than just her Indian territories. But if she quits, it may be me the end of the empire to, to get her. Interesting times ahead. <laughs> this well, this well, it's so anticlimactic. What we're gonna do is quickly use all the divisions, quest forces. I'm gonna request all the forces. Mm. I'm gonna go here. Request forces. Um, you'll see why shortly. Um, what we got? And then one. Yeah. Request forces. And so. Plan. The reason why I'm requesting forces is so we can get a strong nation up and running. If East Indies request forces of twenty so let's see. So, yeah, so we got now let's see what so we want to bring all these Canadian divisions home so we are gonna be bringing them to London because as they said like in regular hearts of iron, we are in a fabling state, so we probably want all our divisions home before anything goes bad. Um, the Calgary Flushers. How would you come? Um, so then we got British Raj, let's get their divisions. We are evacuating all our divisions to London, because, for obvious reasons. Because if they don't, you're gonna face the ratting consequences. Let's see, let's add. This is a cost us oil, but I don't really care. We need these divisions up and running. This is so we this is to prevent our divisions being lost because of some stupid rebellion. So let's use some
Well, then we got the last two divisions here. Let's bring them. We're going to bring them. Then we got New Zealand. Over here. Big one. So, yeah, that's why we're going to be pretty much doing them. Okay, that's pretty much it. We're going to lose so much oil thanks to this. Okay, is there any spot? Oh god, we have one division in the. What's this one division doing here? We should evacuate it and we can make it come back to London as our safety. So,
They do. Wait, so what's going on in China? So, the Sichuan Revolution is war at the UR Kluk. Not sure if any fighting will ever happen. So they have just about to five between five and fourteen divisions. Well, that's just the Valkyrie. Um, I mean, who has the more better divisions? I think this Yuan Click is gonna win. So we got King Edward here. We are wanting, actually, we wanted my. Oh uh, no, we can keep it. The political power, we're, we're still getting a fair amount of political power. I mean, so yeah, I'm gonna keep Edward. We're not gonna exile him. So. We got army experience, air experience, navy experience, up to 10, we can, I think we're going to go master the sea since we're Britain. It's Windsor. So I like this Kaiserreich type ideology system. Can you stop? On twelfth January nineteen thirty six, Sultan Abdul was very suddenly shot and killing and killed by unknown assassin. The local government were unable to react in time to save the Sultan, killing of the Sultan after fading, uh, killing. The assistant only after the fake shot left the Sultan dead. Despite the unpopularity of the Ottoman dynasty after the Great War, Sultan Abdul II and the rest of the Ottoman royal family were backed by Tom Powers and kept re relatively stable with the death of Sultan, the uh, uncertainty ruled with the Ottoman Empire. How terrifying! 
So I just didn't know we got auto, we got Italy. So now we got a rump state. We got no commander practically. Um, we got this, the Italians, we got the Hellenic Republic, the Kurdistan, Armenia. Mm, so yeah. And we got the Bulgi Iraq. The legacy of the Great War. Any other British? Okay, Hyderabad Garrison. You, our friends, are coming to the British Ireland No those vow terrorists in the Irish Republican Brotherhood have today claimed the bombing on a major Irish railway as there are two people have been reportedly killed and several others being sustained serious injuries. This attack was serious severe strain on train lines in the region causing a major delays in both passenger and freight travel. As though the Henry movement military threw out the region of force. On the shadow past a trip, I would like. Okay, so we got ships. So ships. So um, I miss.
so that's is there a Calvary expert? Deploy troops. What do you mean? So, that's where we're going to end the video. I'm pretty much just doing the beginning stuff, and yeah.